What is up everybody and welcome back to another video by New Type Sith. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be updated on more nerd news, lightsaber reviews, and much more. Now in today's video, we're going to be doing a full overview of the Clone Wars Ahsoka Tano Neopixel lightsaber, and this is going to be the Shoto version. So if you haven't seen the previous video on the unboxing, it is right above here. We're doing a quick overview of this beautiful lightsaber, just kind of showing you what it looks like, uh, how to take care of it, how to maintain it, and how to use the functions on it. Now, most LGT lightsabers, which this one is by, it is an LGT saber, and it was purchased by Starlight Sabers, which is an awesome LGT reseller. I'll have the link in the description below, so don't worry. Also, coolest thing about this lightsaber is, like I mentioned, it is a Shoto of the Ahsoka Tano's two sabers. So it is the smaller version. And I personally love that. And I think it's super cool. I love how small it is. I love how small the blade is. I love how it feels when you're spinning. It's super cool. Now, one thing that Sebastian did do to this lightsaber before he sent it out to Zach was he did a reconfiguration on it. So this does not have all of the LGT fonts on it. It actually has none of them. It has two fonts. And most of the time when you buy this lightsaber, it will come with the standard font package. I think it's like 10 to 20 fonts, whatever it is. Um, this one was just specifically made just to have two Ahsoka fonts, just because that's the only thing this saber was used for, is just displaying Ahsoka stuff. It's a beautiful lightsaber built by LGT Saber Studios and was reselled by Starlight Sabers Sebastian. One big thing about this lightsaber it is the Shoto version, so it is the smaller version of the two. It is also equipped with a Profi V2 soundboard, one button setup, and it is a NeoPixel. So how to work this lightsaber is the ignition and all your buttons, retraction, blasters, everything is from this single button right here. On each side of the emitter, there are two Allen keys, which are the blade retention screws. Definitely suggest you use both. You'll have one on each side towards the top of the emitter. Now to remove the battery and to recharge it, you simply just take off the pommel. And after you pull the core out slightly, you'll see a recharge port with a Type-C charger. And if you pull it out a little further, you're able to access the battery itself and the SD card to change the fonts. It also comes with this amazing blade plug. Now that we have the blade in this awesome saber, uh, like I explained before, it is a one button setup. So everything is controlled by this one button. So how you ignite it, this way. How you want it to retract, this button. Or it has gesture controls, which once again, I think you might have to ask Starlight to put gesture controls on it beforehand, or you're gonna have to reprogram the prop yourself. I don't think it just comes right off the bat with gesture controls, but I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, so gesture controls, you can turn it on simply by twisting the saber forward and slightly back, and to shut it off, same thing. Or you can just simply just use the button. One button and hold it down until it retracts. Other cool thing about this, how do you switch fonts? Is you just hold the button down, and let it go until it goes to the next font. Hello, Master. It's been a while. That simple. And once again, simple gesture control, or you can just hold the button down. These are flash on clash. And this one will go straight to lockup, depending on how you have it set up, battle mode or whatever. So one click of the button is blasters. If you clash while holding the button, you'll have this lockup and it's motion activated. So go up, down, awesome. And then just in case you didn't want to have this saber color, you simply can just hold it upside down, hold the button and twist. And that will be the color change mode. And then just to lock it back up, you hold it down. Uh, other really cool feature about these lightsabers are they'll have a melt, a drag and all that. 
This one does not have it equipped because it was shut off just because the owner that did originally purchase this is not a big fan of those, which I'm also the same way. I like the clashes. I like lockups. Uh, I like force moves, force waves, but I'm not really a big fan of the melt or stab just because I don't really ever use them. Uh, but that's also my opinion. If you love those features, I totally understand why. But yeah, these are just all the features why you have it. And I mean, dude, it sounds so good. For whatever this little speaker is, it's not bad. And if you want to go back on the fonts, so reverse, instead of going forward, you just hold the button down. And it goes to the font that it was previously. Like I said, this only has two fonts on it. So the two fonts you just heard, that's all it's got. So that's all this is for the review. And the second font is the Sorcerer by Kyberphonic. Probably the best Ahsoka font out there. Uh, probably to me one of the best scenes for Ahsoka besides uh, the last what, episode of Season 2 Rebels. I mean, the white blade looks sick. I'm sure it looks good on camera. I hope it does. So good. Dude, the accent swings are nuts. I love this thing. I'm jealous. Lock up. Force wave. Sick. And there you have it, everybody. The full overview of the LGT version of the Clone Wars Ahsoka Shoto Neopixel lightsaber. Once again, thank you to Starlight Sabers for the amazing services and Zach from Darth Raven's Nerd Nest for allowing me to purchase this lightsaber for him. If you have any other questions about this lightsaber, please make sure to comment below. And if not, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. What are you doing? Especially if you like lightsabers, we have all sorts of awesome content and videos, lightsabers, Star Wars video games, anime, reviews, breakdowns, everything here on this channel. So please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can be reminded when we post a new video. Thanks again everybody for watching New Type Sith and we'll see you next time on the channel.